good morning we're so glad you're here with daily vlogs so if you enjoyed this video make sure you come back every day look at this fresh cut i just left floyd's i am on like an early lunch i'm gonna run over to this cafe a block over from uh our floyd's to pick up some teas and coffees because that's what we're supposed to do on mondays but monday was a holiday for me so tuesday is like a monday right um every day we're getting closer and closer to getting to florida James got a fresh haircut. I have a fresh haircut tomorrow. Sarah gets a fresh haircut. It's almost time. Another dopey. Cannot believe it. So excited. Coffee. We came here once after we all got haircuts one time. Um, I'm just gonna pick it up to go though. Look at this big kid. Oh, you only got one sock on. You just think you can pull yourself up now? Just play? <laughs> Tell me. Hello, I don't think I've vlogged today, or at least not shown my face, but I just got Teddy down for a nap, Peter's putting Jamesy down for a nap, and I'm gonna make some pasta, just like whip some substance together. We recently like saw this meme earlier today, it was like between Christmas and New Year's, you're having cheese and cookies for breakfast, and that's like literally what we ate for breakfast. Um, Peter did go to that little cafe after his haircut, and he got me this like, I forget what it's called, like sports tea, like it has electrolytes and all sorts of yummy, good, nutritious things in it. However, it's just like a little too tea-y for me, so it's a good thing that I have a lot of my holiday juices on hand, so I'm gonna add in some pomegranate juice whip up this pasta i'm going to be using like leftovers that we have from what we catered so this is like i dream of falafel spicy tomato sauce a little bit of pesto and some plant-based butter and so hopefully once peter is done um that he'll come out we can have a little lunch date on the couch so here is my tea i like drank a bit so then i'll just add in some pomegranate juice usually at starbucks i get my teas with like lemonade because i just like more sweetness to it um, so hopefully now this will be a little holiday drink mm, no that is good I didn't ruin it I was worried like after I poured it in I was like did I just ruin it but it's good also some other things that we got for Christmas that we didn't say that we were excited for this was so unexpected this is from Grant's parents they were so kind to get us a gift they got the boys clothes and they got us this like Brita filter for our fridge and like it's kind of a funny New Year's resolution but like I really do like that it's like literally using filtered water is my is my resolution I've learned more and more just about tap water and I've always kind of been like a who cares I'm not like really like I like how Lake Michigan water tastes but like they put so much in it and I know like Florida water tastes totally different so we did like use a filter there but not even all the time um so there's my random New Year's resolution is to be more aware of the water that we're using because it's important what we put in our bodies and I don't know water is one of those things that we consume so much is that, is that a weird resolution what I did almost ruin was this pasta I cooked regular pasta with chickpea pasta thinking it'd be fine when chickpea pasta only has to cook for five minutes and regular pasta has to cook a little longer Danes and Danes and Danes and Danes <laughs> now all the toys are dancing whoa one of the best Christmas gifts we got the magnetic tiles Oh no! Oh, we can rebuild. I was using my 
phone, I think. Oh, Nana. I think my phone was, was like trying to think and I did a hate record before it focused. So we're playing with the magnetic blocks and it's so much fun. Oh, no. Pooh Bear, you stay inside. Okay, so today is definitely going to be a two-part vlog. We are getting our bearings on after the holiday, and then we're going to be in full swing getting ready to go to Florida. Um, and so a couple of two-parters might be easier for me to make the most of my time to just some night like bounce back between like being productive at night and editing at night. So just a little heads up. I also wanted to touch base about our plan for vlogging the cruise, which was our plan for last year, but that didn't happen. So this might be the second time you're hearing this. So we aren't going to daily vlog on the cruise, but we are going to film plenty. Um, so instead of posting every day, like a typical daily vlog, we are going to sit down on our last day on the ship and kind of recap our experience. And it's gonna be more like journal style. So we're gonna talk about something and then play um, footage with music and all of that so it'll be one big video capturing our entire cruise experience that way I get a full vacation from um, you know editing and whatnot I hope we'll probably have some sort of internet so we'll post on social media but just actual vlog that is our that is our plan there um, and I'm super excited because I had that grand idea last year as this sort of like big video celeb celebrating our cruise and then obviously it didn't happen and so like I even have that more anticipation. I love editing, I love finding good music, I love obviously the footage we capture but I really enjoy capturing the footage too and so I'm excited for the video. I hope you guys are too. So tonight I am not editing. I have a combo of chocolate milk and eggnog and I'm going to finish our Christmas cards because they will get out, even though they are tardy. Good lunchtime. We're so glad you're here. We did vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. I think it's a two-parter again. Oh um, my guys, I think you might know this, but I've got titanium rods in my back from scoliosis surgery in high school. And though that almost never messes with me, it does when there's big storms quickly coming in, or AKA barometric pressure changes. And this started when that big winter storm came through. It really messed up my lower back. And then, I don't know if that's it or if it was me sleeping with James one night and like the day bed stiff and threw my back off. But it has been in a very bad shape. Now so I gotta work out enough and no more so it don't stretch enough. But my back is probably the worst pain it's been in years. So. Um, anyway, I think a run might help. I need to run anyway because Dopey is a week away. And uh, I am going to head over to the gym during my lunch break here and see what uh, see how that feels. Well, maybe I'm not going to the gym. They have a pipe burst. All right. I thought that the uh, crowd meter looked very, very low. Time to go back home. It's kind of funny that... Uh, Sarah and I joked about potentially me running outside today because it's sunny and it's supposed to get to a very warm 44 degrees today. But I think the 44 isn't happening until after sunset. I think it's like 30 right now and it should get up to 40 around 2 o'clock. So maybe I can go on like a afternoon run outside. I can also go to another Planet Fitness, but I'm not sure where the, the next one is. I'll look at it, man. So, Bit of a curveball there. 
Bummer for the gym to have a burst pipe. Uh, James and I are just playing with some Duplos. We've been playing all day. He decided to take a rest today instead of a nap. But that's all right. We got Strange World on, and I am going to get my hair cut soon. Also, James, he made this huge track today without any help. It's pretty spectacular. All the snow is melting. I don't remember the last time I went outside, but it's in the 40s today. It feels so good. So I've just been watching like all these dogs, like plenty of people are out on walks right now. There's always dogs out in our neighborhood. But I'm getting so excited because Eve is going to meet Fillmore next week. If you don't know who Fillmore is, I'll put his Instagram tag here. It's Megan and Katie Petrus's dog. And Eva's gonna be staying there while we are on the cruise. And the Petruses are gonna be on the cruise too. I don't know if we've mentioned that. So their mom is going to be taking care of Eve, but they have a doggy and they have kitty cats. She's met the kitty cats before, um, but she has not stayed there since Fillmore came about. So I'm all like, just giddy, like thinking about it. Alrighty, here's the new salon I'm trying out. We are, you know, I was going back to that other salon. Let's go. We are extending some of the holiday movie cheer with some Mickey Mouse Christmas. And someone might be teething again. Keep us on our toes, this one. We're gonna see if Jimmy does it again. Oh, here we go. Making cookies. Okay, now we gotta cut them out. There you go, good job. Put on the cutting board. It's gotta cool off. Good, good job. I just tried to show my haircut. It's actually like pretty subtle. It was just like all one length the last time after my bob. I'll show it at home. Um, but I'm really happy with it. Got some nice layers and movement. I even got my eyebrows tinted and waxed. Actually, I thought that my eyebrows would be a little darker, but nice to start start slow. Next time, maybe I'll go a little bit darker. Um, but yeah, I feel fresh, vacation ready. The boys got their hair cut. Teddy's not getting his hair cut because he barely has any. Uh, but Evie is getting hers cut on Sunday, so we're all gonna be fresh. It's been a go of a day. A um, little busier at work today, but it's because like the, the few people that are still in office are closing it up because a lot of them are taking tomorrow and Friday off. We're, we're early release on Friday anyway. Um, as you saw, the gym was closed, but I just did a Peloton ride on the bike early. It helped my back a little bit, but still pretty brutal, that lower back pain. I was trying to do some stretches early this morning. I'll probably do some more again tonight. Um, what else got going on? Sarah came back from her haircut. Looks beautiful. Got some additional sticky snacks for the kitchen. We'll have to do one more haul before uh, New Year's Eve. And then I have our last bit of I Dream of Falafel leftover heating up now in the oven um, for dinner. I am a big fan of the La Colombe oat milk drafts. Well, this isn't a draft. This is just a double latte. But they're oat milk in a can. Draft or not draft are delicious. Sarah picked this up because I'm rocking a headache. Hoping it helps. Big fan. Also, big fan of this place. James is trying to take a lot of the vehicles he got from his advent and put them on the track. And then lining them up. Oh yeah? Oh, don't forget Mater. That's Toe Mater. Mommy and Daddy saw the real Toe Mater by the name Toe Tater. A boom truck. Whoa! Leftovers for days. This is the last days. Yes. And I did get a little extra um, salad, like from the salad bar at Whole Foods for toppings. It's a little mint cucumber <laughs> situation and chickpea. I also got myself a little culture pop soda. And my phone died, so sorry for no update after the haircut. 
Teddy's just gonna like get it out of the chair and walk over here. <laughs> Taking the garbage out? It's 44 degrees out. It feels fantastic. Like open the windows open fantastic. Like I looked at the forecast. It's supposed to be 52 tomorrow in Chicago. I'm gonna go for a run outside I think. Wow, on the lakefront. If it's not frozen still because there's still a snow on the ground. But maybe it'll melt overnight. Sarah's been rocking this multi-day fancy drink, this kit that she made. <laughs> but we need to get our Christmas stuff away and this is one of our Christmas... Um, decor? Decor, so there's that. I'm done with this. Oh, sugar. So what is this? Candied cranberries, rosemary, orange. Mm-hmm. I think you showed this in the vlog probably. Yeah. For Christmas or Christmas Eve? Yeah. You can put one of these oranges in your drink. Oh, okay. I made myself a little old-fashioned. And I made these pomegranate juice um, ice cubes. Fancy, fancy. So Sarah's goal is to finish the Christmas cards tonight and her pen ran out. And I just know what that means to her. Same thing it meant to her mom too, so. It's a uh, quarter to 11, so I'm gonna run to his jewel and get the, a proper Sharpie style pen to make sure she can finish these Christmas cards tonight. I love living in a city. It's just doing something like wild like this. Like who goes on a walk at 10.45 at night to go to the grocery store that's still open? Here we are at James's favorite store. You got your pens? I got my pens. Thank you. That's some serious issues. My pen wasn't good enough, so Peter at 1045 offered. I was just gonna get it tomorrow. Well, you said you wanna get the cards done tonight, so here's your fuel to get the cards done tonight. Thank you. <laughs> and mod sticks. Well, just like that, as Sarah was doing the very last card, I think she has to put the address on it. Teddy woke up. So we are going to call it a night. It is 12.15. James has been asleep since 8.30. Fingers crossed he sleeps through the night. Fingers crossed Teddy goes back to sleep easily. And then uh, I have a team meeting in the morning, which I'm excited about because it's like my last major meeting before my early, early release on Friday. So then it's like New Year's weekend. Or next time I work will be, I'll be in Florida. It's good to be home. Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. This might be the third part of a three-parter, but I'm still going to intro. Um, we daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. Okay, but look how cute this child is. Interrupt this this clip to show you how cute this child is. What you got in your face? I spent the morning at the pediatrician with Teddy. He got some vaccines. He's up to date now with the COVID shot. He's up to date with his flu shot. He's ready to travel. Um, then we went to McDonald's and I got some Coke for us as a little pick me up. It works out when it's too early to get fries, but I also just wish McDonald's served French fries at all times. It seems like a missed opportunity to me. Um, but Peter and I have a uh, four days to get our act together before we leave for our trip. Um, and so we have some stuff on the to-do list to do today. And I gotta get Christmas cards out and really start packing. I started setting aside clothes, um, but we actually ordered new luggage with some gift cards we got from Christmas. And so those arrive Saturday and that's yeah, when it'll yeah, truly begin. Yeah. You such a brave, brave kid. Okay, Teddy's at this <laughs> age where he like wants to stand and just like, be constantly going places however he is um <laughs> he does not have that skill yet and so he's just all over the place but it's fun <laughs> Whoa. all right i don't even know if we started the vlog but the car is officially refreshed for the drive to florida next week got our jiffy loop sticker and everything I'll never get over this diversity street, Trader Joe's, top parking lot view. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Running in to grab a few slick snacks for the road trip for the kids and Sarah and myself. And then back home to finish work. Um, um, to using a spatula. 
It's like he's becoming a mini chef before our eyes. James, what happened to your room? There's boxes everywhere. What are you doing with sandals on? What are you going to Disney World in like four days? Chaos. Chaos begins. Time to put all of this away. All the Christmas away. Goodbye, Christmas. After all these years of meticulously touching ridiculous storage spots, especially the crown jewel being this ridiculous closet, it has defeated me. All that needed to go into a rightful spot was this gravy dish and the pumpkin container behind it. Yes, those are not Christmas decorations. I know, we don't need to put that in the comments. They're Thanksgiving decorations, I know. But they were left over. They were in the kitchen still when I put away Thanksgiving, so I just temporarily put them in Christmas stuff. Then all this happened, and I realized I still had them. So for a brief moment in time, I will concede defeat to this closet because it's uh, what is it, 6.20 we have to cook dinner. They're going right there, but I will avenge myself with this closet. But I'm bummed because I've never had to do that before. But Christmas is away. That's wild. He's so sweet to your brother. Aww. Guys, where did today go? Oh, you're so nice to him. You've had a good day, right? We've been dancing, we've been playing, napping. Well, Teddy napped, James on the other hand. Yeah, I finished the Christmas cards. Wow. All right, it's another night of revitalizing some leftovers. We got some onions, tomatoes, peppers, and then some of the ham kind of diced, chopped up. Got some uh, oranges and tomatoes cut up for James, backup oranges for James. We're gonna try this just egg, plant-based egg. We're gonna make some omelets with these for dinner tonight. A little breakfast for dinner. Gotta get rid of this ham as much as we can. So let's make it up some. All right, we are on a mission to clean out the fridge before we go. I did buy just egg, like it's called just egg. It's not actually egg. I think it's soy-based. Peter made a little Denver eggy situation. It's hot in here now. <laughs> it's like 50 in Chicago today. What happened? I even have a little fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh. Is it good? He's eating oranges right now. Okay. If you are wondering about our Evie girl, she's fully recovered from our little stint last weekend. Totally back to normal. She was back to normal the, the minute she got home. Well, the hunt for a home in Florida has begun. I have issues. <laughs> Our issue is once we start doing something like this, we are like hyper focused on it. It just takes over. It becomes all consuming. What I'm hoping is our biggest issue right now is that like there's like houses that are available right now. Yeah. And like I don't want to put in hundreds of dollars of application fees. Yeah. To be like, I want to move in March. Yeah. So like, we still have some time, so but we still want to be aware and like know the good websites and areas yeah. and if there's any real estate agents. That yeah, and just have common. that like that worry away. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what we've been doing. Another like pastime, holiday pastime we love is getting like either iTunes cards or like whatever gift cards, whatever, to buy movies on Apple TV. And we bought P.S. I Love You. It's one of our favorite movies. And it's always like streaming somewhere, but then not. We and have we it have on DVD. DVD. But we're thinking about getting rid of all of our DVDs. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> um, but we bought that, so we've been watching that, and it feels good. It's, our, it's like one of our favorite springy movies because it feels... Irish with them being in Ireland, so. St. Patty's Day. <laughs> it is good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.